It's News Watch 12's Friday Night Blitz. Welcome to another packed slate of Longwood's football. Let's start here in Oneida County. Homecoming at Rhinelander as the Hodags host Mozanee. Starting QB Nihal Duel out for Mozanee. First half, first offensive play for Mozanee. Trevor Garski to Kyle Kowalski, and he is gone. 41 yards to the house, 7 0 Mozanee. Next Mozanee possession. Garski going up top. Guess who? Kowalski is second score of the night. It's 14-0 early, but who boy would Rhinelander fight back in the second quarter. Quinn Lamers at quarterback. Coach Kramer loves his intelligence. Well, he's going to love this throw even more. Jackson Labs with a great catch. That cuts the Mosinee lead to 14-7. Not the last time we would hear from Labs. Second half, Hodags even up the score after this Walker Hartman TD five yards out. That evens it at 14. Mosinee comes right back down the field. Drayton Lehman takes the sweep and takes it around a mass of arms and legs and into the end zone for a nine yard score. His first TD of the season. Just over three minutes to go in the third quarter. Lamers for labs, back of the end zone and it brings down rain. 30 yard TD, two receiving touchdowns for labs on the day. And he was not done after Rhinelander recovers a fumble in the next Mosady possession. Let Lamers took. 37 yards to Labs again. And that, ladies and gentlemen, would set up this. Walker Hartman is second TD of the day. Rhinelander takes it 28-21. They are 2-0. Also in Oneida County, Lakeland Union trying to bounce back from a loss to Mosinee. They're taking on Merrill this week. First quarter, Brayden Wiesek is going to tuck and run with this one. You see a little pump fake. Oh, faked out the camera a little bit, but didn't fake out Eddie Collinsworth. Puts his hat on the ball. Bumble caused Merrill recovers no, no score, but the Jays would go three and out. Merrill punts. Eric Albertus fields it on the run, and you can't give someone that speedy a running start because he's going to take it all the way down, huffing and puffing to the Merrill 16-yard line. Two plays later, Wijak to Victor Masizma for the 11-yard TD. Two-point conversion is good. Lakeland leads 8-0. Eight and a half minutes left in the second quarter. Masizma. Breaking tackles from three yards away, finding the end zone. Two first half TDs for him. Lakeland wins comfortably. Merrill falls to one and one. So the Medford Raiders entered the year as the favorite in the Great Northern Conference. And so far, nobody has been able to play Rocky to their Apollo Creed. Nate Myhawk was down in Medford tonight to watch Anago give it a try. Yeah, that's right. Anago entered the ring tonight, coming for that crown. But they're also hoping to rebound from last week's loss to Rhinelander. Medford celebrating their homecoming tonight. And look at this, a beautiful backdrop for tonight's game. Raiders wasting no time. Very first play of scrimmage for the Medford offense. It's a direct snap to Aiden Gardner. They're looking like the old Packers sweep from the 60s. Reversing the field, he is gone. 70 yards to the house, two point conversions good. Raiders up eight. And now after another quick stop, it worked last time. Let's run it again. Another direct snap to Gardner. This time down the sidelines, 40 yards for the score. Medford up by 16. Hey, we got to show the passing attack some love. Shout out these big guys up front. Logan Baumgartner had decades to throw, and there's Peyton Kuhn. If you're a Packers fan, say it with me. Kuhn! 35-yard touchdown, and Medford rolls 43 to nothing. Now let's take a deeper dive into this game. Aiden Gardner was that dude. Only six carries, but he found Pater three times and exploded for an unofficial 223 yards on the ground. So far through two games, Medford Attack has combined for 95 points. And with their win tonight, the Raiders now have won 11 straight regular season games. Definitely looking like the team to beat in the Great Northern Conference. Andrew, I need more football. Please tell me you got some more. Oh, we aim to please around here, Nate. Great Northern Conference showdown between Ashland and Hayward. We got all four GNC games tonight. Late in the first quarter, still scoreless. Parker Goodrow for Ashland from two yards away. Clouded dust and seven points on the board for the Ore Dockers. First play of the second quarter. Same score. Ore Dockers inside the five, knocking on the door. And Carter Brown is going to ninja kick that door down. 14-0 Ashland. They add another one, but here come the Hurricanes all of a sudden. It is Hurricane SZN, and Derek Miller is a Category 3 at least, getting his team on the board there. But this one was all Ashland early. 
Brown is gonna take this one and he is not looking back. 31 yards all the way to the house. Ashland goes on to win 41-14. So after the break, we go down to the Wausau area. We check in with state finalist Stratford. So much more. You stuck with us this far, you might as well go a little further. Stay with us. This portion of News Watch 12 is brought to you by Builder Service Incorporated, Elko. The world's greatest economy is coming back. But Joe Biden could wreck it. I would shut it down. Shut it down or worse. Guess what? If you elect me, you're not going to have your, your taxes are going to be raised, not cut. Joe Biden will kill your jobs and raise your taxes. I, I'd make the changes on day one. Joe uh, Biden is a job-killing, uh, tax-raising disaster. With, uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, the man uh, just doesn't have a clue. Uh, America First uh, Action is responsible uh, for the content of this advertising. Experience exceptional brilliance and intense colors during the Lolly Jewels Trunk Event, presented by Wickersham Jewelry. October 6th in Rothschild, October 7th in Marshfield, and October 8th in Rhinelander. Explore over 1,000 pieces from the collection, all 50% off for one day only. Save an additional 20% by scheduling an appointment. You'll even receive a free gift with purchase. Wickersham's Lolly Trunk Event, October 6th through the 8th. Wickersham Jewelry. If you can dream it, we can make it. WJFWDeals.com. Find money-saving offers for many of your favorite restaurants. Certificates for this fine eatery are on sale now at WJFWDeals.com. Dina Mia Pizza is a little piece of heaven providing well-loved pizza in a small town since 1967. A fun atmosphere where customers and co-workers feel like family. Our pizza, pizza pockets, and spaghetti are all made with fresh local ingredients. Food, merchandise, entertainment, and much more all at WJFWDeals.com. Advice from trial attorneys, lawyers for the injured. What you should know before you settle. You have to know the future. What is the future pain and suffering? What is your future disability? What will your future medical bills be? What is your future wage loss? You have to know, you have to know the answers to those questions to get the maximum settlement of your case. See a trial lawyer. We can help. Get a new carpet for your home at Menards. Loop Tex Mills carpet is soft and stain resistant. Right now, all Loop Tex Mills carpet is 11% off. Plus, get free carpet pad after rebate. Find your style with Patriot Lighting. Illuminate your kitchen with an attractive island light from the Cleavon Collection. It features a candlelight look and you can save 11% on it and all Patriot Lighting collections at Menards. Save big money at Menards. Hi, I'm Jenna with Miracle Ear of Park Falls in Medford. If you are struggling to hear your favorite news and entertainment shows, come and see me for your free hearing test. Penalty on the play, face mask, 15 yards. Ladies and gentlemen, this is my third year hosting the show. If you expected better jokes, I really don't know what to tell you. So it's homecoming game for Athens. They're taking on the Thorpe Cardinals. First quarter, a quick start for the Blue Jays. Cooper Diedrich, ladies and gentlemen, he gets into the end zone with all due speed, getting the Blue Jays off to a fantastic start, 6-0. Later in the first, Dane Diethelm for Athens scoots around, rushes down the field, scoring another touchdown. The Blue Jays are up 14-zip, and if you expect that much momentum to change, I got some bad news for you. Later in the second, still no luck for the cards. They do hold the Jays off here, but Deep Helm comes in again, finds an opening, gets another touchdown. Great senior night for the Blue Jays. They came out on top, 56-8, the final. Down in the Green Bay area, Everest taking on Hortonville. The Evergreens were rolling tonight. Less than seven minutes to go in the first. Second and third, Evergreens, Brock Babish. Binging with Babish in the end zone. First score of the night, Everest up 7-0. Four minutes later, Third and seven with the ball in the 11-yard line. Boats Voke rushes to double the lead. Evergreens up 14 to nothing. Second quarter, first down on the 33 for the Greens. QB Owen Latisse is going to pull it. He's going to move. He's going to shake. And he is going to bring Everest all the way down inside the five. 28-yard run here. The Green and White would score again. Two downs later, Everest up 21-0, the final. 42-7 in favor of oh, the Evergreens. 
21 of 22 starters for Stratford were seniors last year, and the Tigers played like it all the way up to the state title game. So how are they doing this year? Griffin Stroyan is going to tell us. Griff? Yeah, Andrew, you cannot tell that they only have one remaining starter from last year's team. They are still dominating. Stratford hosting Wyawega Fremont in the CWC Large Conference. We're going to the first quarter opening drive for the Tigers. Max Vanderhoof is going to drop the snap, but he's going to make something out of nothing. A seven yard quarterback scamper into the end zone and Tigers take a six nothing lead. Very next drive for the Tigers. It's third and 11. Vanderhoof rolling to his left and he's setting up the fullback screen. Love the fullback getting in the action. He's got a convoy in front of him. Gets the first down for the Tigers, but a few plays later, Vanderhoof drops back to pass, looking for Kale Weisenberger, and it's picked off. A big stop by Wyawega, but they wouldn't get many of those. First play of the second quarter, they're going to run it here to Rafe Smart. Man, when you give it to Rafe, you better watch out. Look at this block from Colton Schillinger. Smart, tight ropes down the sideline, and he's gone. A 32-yard touchdown. Stratford wins this one big, 41 to nothing. Andrew, this team is off to a hot start. Uh, only in their first year in the Central Wisconsin Large Conference, already 2-0. Coach Jason Tubbs talked to me earlier about how the offense was a little behind. Uh, 76 points through two games, that's not behind in my book. And you got to show some love to the defense. Colton Schillinger picked off the Wega quarterback and took it 50 yards to the house to open up the second half. A dominant performance from the Tigers, flexing their muscles early in the new conference. Ah, uh, thank you kindly for that report, good sir. Let's take a look at some out-of-town scores. Northland Pines made the long trek down to Ocano County. They are returning with a loss. Congrats to the Edgar Wildcats. The top team in D7 goes on the road and beats D3 on Alaska. Way to punch up, Cats. In Wausau West, Colton Goering scored a game-winning touchdown with 17 seconds left to give the Warriors a win over Wisconsin Rapids.